Hello and welcome back, my crafty friends. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is DJ here at Heather and Jan's studio. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thanks for jumping back in and saying hi, joining me in my crafty little space. I really appreciate you all for being here. Um, I went ahead and played ahead. This is part three, by the way, of our concertina. <laughs> I don't know why I still, maybe, I'm still not saying that right. And I'm going to get through all the videos and then I'm going to be like, oh, I said it wrong the whole time. Uh, whatever. You know what I mean? These zigzaggy folders. Okay. So there's a part one and a part two. In part one, we put it together. So I showed you how to make one similar to this. Ours is a little smaller. Um, and then in part two, we decorated the piece, the pages with some papers. And um, I went ahead and played uh, off camera with what I left you with in part two. Uh, I inked around the outsides because you know I was not going to not do that. Is that a double negative? I don't know. Anyway. I then sewed around the outside and I did some wonky stitching and I'm just looking at this now realizing that I forgot one here, but that's okay. I kind of like the randomness of it. Um, sometimes you go looking for the randomness and sometimes the randomness finds you. Okay, so great. Um, I just see that when I stitched, you know, like on the other side, you can see where the white paper can't, you know, cause it pushes, punches through. I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to inky ink along there. And I, you know, you don't have to sew. No sewing required. I just like the way that the stitching looks. It just gives it kind of more of a finished look when it is finally stitched. So I absolutely love that. And I just don't like the white coming through there. Here too, because I kind of turned it around and did it a couple of different ways. And so it was punching through. Okay, so here's where we are. And you know what? I happen to have a little acrylic. Yes, I just did happen to have it here. I just realized I wanted to put some on here before I got back on camera and I didn't. So I'm just going to take a little and instead of gesso, I'm just going to push this, this back a little because I want to stamp there. So I'll just do that and let it dry while we're doing other things. This is just a regular white acrylic paint. All right. That is apparently getting everywhere. Lovely. All right. Well, we're not playing if we're not getting dirty. Okay. So, um, I have a little pocket here that you saw me do when we were putting this together in part two. And I took some of that's going to be too big. I took some of the papers and I attached them to some book page like this. So I just glued it on and I figured I could use these as little bits throughout, throughout this piece. And I'm going to add some of this to here too. And look how pretty from just some book page. Are you going to come out now? There we go. Okay. Um, right? How pretty from just book pages and some scraps that we have hanging around. I mean, we're creating pretty things out of what other people might throw away. And I think that is lovely. So this is very, very, very white paint. So you know that's not going to stay like that very long. No. Not at all. We'll tend to that in a few minutes. So we'll let that dry as well. 
that over there. All right, let me cut out some of these pieces. So all I did was I fold, I had an extra one of these uh, folded over pages and I just took one of those scraps and I attached it and then I sewed around the outside and now I just wanna cut it out. We'll cut some of these off. If you like them hanging, you keep them there. I like them hanging sometimes. Sometimes they're just in the way. <laughs> so I need to get rid of them. All right, so we have this little card. We'll have to do something with that. What else did I do? Okay, I took this. We have a sewing theme going on. Yes, I know. I took this over to my machine and I connected. So we Frankenstein some pieces together of scrap by simply sewing two different colors with the book page in between, which I love. And now I'm gonna cut these into tags or something. We're gonna do something with them. And when you get these all cut, they just create this really cool effect. Let me get rid of some of these scraps here that we can let's turn it into an envelope let's see is that going to fit this way no it is not all right what do i have to do i have to knock off some more of this here that's fine we can do that there we go we'll leave that there and now we can turn this into a little pocket envelope type thing, thingamabobber, right? And the black thread to me just kind of just makes everything pop. I don't know, it just, just lends that extra oomph to any piece because, well, in this case, it's really wonky, right? It's kind of cool how it's all just everywhere. And I don't know, it just looks really cool. Ooh, hello. All right, so let's ink this up. Yep, we're gonna ink it. Yep, we are. Let me see, what do I got here? I got some walnut stain. This is a little darker. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, let's we'll just go around the outside and then we'll glue up the sides so it actually becomes an envelope because right now it's just a flappy foldy thing. And we will glue it in into our little booklet here. But you could, you don't have to glue anything into it. We'll do a page where we're just making room for some journaling. Oh, this is so pretty on the back. I almost don't want to glue it in. <laughs> but the other thing you can do if you do something like this is, um, hold on, let me just ink this side of it before I forget, and then I'm going to be looking at it, and I'm going to be like, oh. All right, so if you, you could also turn this into tags, so you could cut it like right there, right? And then this could be a tag. You could put this glued down on another piece of paper so that it gets a little more sturdy because right now it's a little flimsy. And you would have a tag, so that would be cool. All right, so that looks neat, huh? Yeah, we like it. Okay, where do we want to put it? We want to put it here at the beginning maybe we want it sideways let's get some of this here grungied up it's too well too purdy all right let's see how this folds first okay so all right it folds like this the best way that it folds it, it'll fold both ways but i'm gonna put it here and i'm gonna glue it down so that it opens this way 
You could do whatever you want to do. If you're not doing this at all, then you don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I am just going to put it there. And I know I had punched out a circle for this piece, so I'm going to look for that. Maybe I can close it with that. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Here you are. That looks really big. And it's not that sturdy, so I need something else to go behind it. Let me just... It's all right that it's big. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. Actually, I don't have to do that side because it's just a backer. All right, so I'm going to use this to stabilize this and make it a little stronger. Like so. All right, all right, good. And then this can kind of be a closure for that. So I'll, I can just kind of tuck that into there. So we'll do this. We're not going all the way to the edge because we need this piece out so that it can. So I'm just gonna like kind of put it like that so that the top is not glued to it, just the bottom. Like so, move it up in the middle more. And now we don't want that piece glued because that's how we, we're gonna open our envelope, right? So this, there's no glue back here. I'm over explaining it, I'm sorry. All right, so like that. Let me just get some more glue here. It's a weak point. All right. We'll leave this out for now. All right. I guess we're opening it that way because I said so. And then I'm going to make a top pocket too. So I'm only going to glue this on three sides. So then I get a little extra tuck pocket there. In the top. Right. Right. Correctamundo. All right, and it's still flat enough. I'm still happy with it. I like it. All right, how about over here? This page has, you know, some space to write on here. And I love these moths, butterflies, moths, combo. So I'm not going to touch that one. Here, I said I wanted to stamp, so I brought some stamps. I brought some little stamps. Let's see. I know I have some cute ladybugs in here. Oh, I have a bee. Let's do a bumblebee. I'll, just, I'll use the walnut stain. And let me cover up my glue. All right. So let's get, let's get this guy all. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah. Nice little brown. in there. I love these little stamps. They just kind of fit everywhere. So we got that. We have some words. We can kind of do daydreams. What else do we have? Let's see what else. What else? Any other words? No. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. We're using daydreams. There you are. So yes, I'm mixing inks. I do it all the time. Most of my inks are in a the same color range for the most part. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, but if that's not your thing, it's fine. I need a pen because I think I want to go around this outside. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little wonky, wavy kind of line, not thinking too much about it. And I'll just put little dots 
like so. And then I think I need something behind that. Something of another color. What do I have? Well, no, I don't want book page. Let's see if I have something dark in here. There's another word. Okay. Cool. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's some of these. Let me just take one of these. They're like, um, I think they use them for measuring or wrapping. Maybe measuring fabric or something. I got these on eBay. eBay? Etsy, maybe? So I can kind of maybe cut off some of this, put this up here, like so, you know, just to add some interest. I don't know. Let me take a little more off. It's all in the name of art. It's fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Plus, I think it's perfect anyway, so. I do. I really, really do. All right, I want the numbers to show, so I'm going to put them over this way. And up a little, like so. And then we'll just glue Daydreams on like that. Yep, we're just putting paper down on paper. There we go. And now we want a little space to write there. So let's grab, I have some of these stickers. And we can kind of, we can kind of lay them down. You can get these stickers in my shop. I have a lot of grungy little stickers in there if you want to see what's there. Um, then we have some space to write or put down a fun little quote or something or stamp up to you what you want to do there. There we go. Like so. And there's just a little blending here. There. Now we have some space to write. Super simple, right? Write. We're going to write. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I said this won't fit. Will it fit? Oh, it will fit. All right. Well, you're living there. Let's grunge you up. So if you wanted, you could make this a little photo album. So let's, you know, this would be a fun little um, memory type gift you could give someone if you went and visited like for an anniversary party or a wedding or whatever. You could do this up and then have photo corners, right? And then you could stick your photos in there and then it's just like a little album of the fun. Let's do this side. I didn't do this side. You know, and you can use pretty papers if you're more into, you know, brighter colors or, um, you know, pa uh, what am I trying to say? Pastels and or vibrant colors or black and white, you know, whatever, whatever you don't want to do, you do you. All right. So that'll live there. So we have um, in here. Let's see. Why don't we put this guy in here? since it matches that little holder this side's done i call it done all right so this is going to fold this way i said this can be the cover so what do we want on the cover i have all these like scraps that i brought to the uh to a workshop i did these are like little book plates would one of these work That's cute. What 
else is in here? Oh, these are fun. These are like old cigarette cards of fancy ladies. Those are fun. Oh, I have this angel. No, I don't think that goes. Oh, I like him. Okay, I'm going to use this as my cover. This is kind of the cover. I think we need something under here. I am covering up that flower a little, but I can still see some of it, so I'm not, I'm not upset about that. And I just saw something in here that I thought would work under this. Here we go. You can do something like that for the cover. Very simple stuff. Two pieces of paper, right? We're not... Uh, not doing anything too crazy here. I'm not getting too wild. Just some real simple stuff. And this says from the library of, so you could put your name in there. Um, or you could just cover that up with a word, which I might do. I think I saw the word lovely in this pile. So. I'm going to do like that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's see. I could just cover this up with the word lovely, like that. And then it doesn't look like a book plate. It just looks like a cool, fun decoration. Some of these components are from um, a variety of places. I believe these might be from the Graphics Fairy. So you can, if you're interested, go over there and see what they have. I believe it's part of like their printables. They, they're part of kits that they also offer too, but then they turn them into printables. Some are free and some you do have to have a membership to get to, but they have a lot of free stuff over there. So I would recommend just checking it out if you're looking for some freebies. And I have some freebies on my site too. So, you don't have to spend any money. You can go over and get a bunch of freebies. Um, just check out my site. And I, if you want to get on my Friday freebies list, I do it. Um, I send you out a freebie every Friday. So you can go sign up for that. All right, there you go. What is that, a finch maybe? Hmm? What do you think? Put a little lovely on there. Did I lose it? Where did I go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, lovely? There you are. You're so lovely. Yeah. We'll put you on there. So look how fun with just some book page and some scraps. Yeah, we'll do a little wonky. I like that. We are creating this really fun little, this fun little keepsake. All right, what else do we got? All right, we got this page. Stop, behave. I made this pocket, but you know what? I don't, I think it's too big. Oh, maybe we could do it this way. Oh, but then I cover up something lovely. I don't want to do that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I took a piece of that book page that we folded over. This was another extra page. I just brought it to the sewing machine and did some spins there. So... <laughs> Nothing too crazy. And now I'm just going to rip around that outside of the stitching, obviously. Hopefully. Wow, it's difficult to rip two pages at once. All right, I'm just going to... There we go. It's fine. If it, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Now... Here, this is a difficult angle. Get your hands around. Yeah. All right, so this is gonna cover up too. So what's the difference? And do something like that. And then we'll, what we'll do is, yeah, I guess I'd rather cover this than another one. So I'm taking some of that. You can use white gesso for this, obviously. Um, or clear gesso and then paint over it. But this is sitting here, so I'm going to use it. 
All right, so that's going to go there. We know it's going to go there, but it's got to dry. So I'm going to put it over there for now. And we'll just wipe off our hand there. Okay, so that's that. I think we're done with the paint. Let's see. We have, this is going to be a back page, right? Yeah. So this will be a back area. And we may want to have something here that isn't going to fall out or fall off or anything like that. Um, but I don't want to cover up this page. So, 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 so. I need a heavyweight card stock. Oh, I like this one. This one's kind of pretty basic. I'm just going to ink around and then we'll use some washi and some glue because I don't trust the integrity of the washi tape <laughs> to, um, to last. Eh, it goes fine. I don't have any cardstock of the pages that I was working with here. So, and I want something a little heavier. I can always collage on top of this at some time, uh, other point if I want to. But I think this would make a good little journaling space. And But I think maybe I just might want to mute down this pink a little more. There. You can definitely journal on that. All right. And we're going to stick it in here with some washi. What washi do we want? Do I have anything that will match? Ooh, this one looks like it'll work. Okay, where are you? Yeah, I think this has enough colors in it to work. It's got a few oranges and yellows, but I am going to, like I said, add some glue because I don't want it to do the washy thing, but I do want it to have the translucent washy um, look and feel. So we're gonna put you there. And then, and I'm not going all the way to the edge because that just makes it wonky. But I do want this all straight, so. All right, and now the glue will hold it down, but the washi is still translucent enough. And now we have like a little flat. We should probably put a piece in here too. Where'd you go? Are you? Oh, I have some. I have some with roses on it. I'll use that one here. This one I'm not that worried about with gluing it down because it's on the inside, and I think it'll do fine there. This one will hold it in place. There we go, and then we have a cute little flap there that we can write in. Maybe we just need like something in the corner there to tuck it into. What will that be? What will it be? What do I th thought there were other numbers here. No. All right, does that go? No. That does, but I already have that there. Oh my. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Let's do this. All right, I'm just gonna put a little corner there, actually a little smaller. That way I can tuck that edge under it. Just enough to kind of give me a little tuck. All right, we'll put a tiny bit of glue just around the very far edge. And we'll do that. And there we go, and that'll hold that down. Now, is this dry enough? Yeah. Uh, let's ink. Let's ink. 
So we're just randomly dropping in some components. So you could do your whole, like you don't even have to put something down. You can come in here with just some white um, gesso or some white paint or some off-white paint, whatever you have yellow, whatever you know theme you're working with, and just put it right on the page. And then, um, you know, just to push back some of the color so you have some journaling space. That's really the, the purpose, is to get it so you can have some journaling space there. There we go. And I like that it's bringing back the book page that we covered up. It's kind of like a fun little way to bring it back in. You want to let this dry really good before you go writing on it because otherwise it's just going to tear and then it's going to be glued down and you're going to be sad. So you don't want that. I'm working fast because I'm on video, but I would normally just let it dry really well before I go and uh, even glue it down. But, you know, we got to get things done. All right, let's get it really flat down. Cut off some of these. You can leave a few. Let's leave those. Let's cut this one. You know, and you can hang some charms on those threads if you're so inclined. Like so. Like that. We have that little thing there. All right, what was I going to do over here? I stamped that. Oh, I had this guy. Right. All right, let's do this. And where was, oh, that one we put in there. Okay, all right. We'll put this one in there too, because I think we've run out of, I think we've run out of spots. All right, maybe we want a little, a little something something on the top of this. Oh, I sewed up, let's use some of these. I sewed up these like little scraps. Just put a little, um, you know, a little piece of, uh, I just sewed through them with the sewing machine and this make a cool little tab. Very messy, very, um, I don't know, chaotic. <laughs> chaotic is definitely a good word for it. We'll just glue this on as like a tab, you know. So, do we want it on the side though? I think we want it on the side, which will actually work out because it'll act as like part of the decoration then too, like so. There we go, that's fun. I saw in here, hold on, I saw these. I have another one. Hold on, hold on. What do I got here? <gasps> what? All right, so we have some more of those. These are bees. I know it's kind of hard to see, but we'll put some of these on here. Maybe we'll put them on this side. Mm. Ah. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Okay. Because I want, I, the whole purpose of making this white was to journal on it. So no, you know what? We're not going to do anything. We're just going to go around with our pen. And I'm just squiggling, squiggling, barely touching the paper. Squiggles, like so. Ta-da! Some dots, some quick lines, dots. Easy stuff. You guys can do it. And we'll put that in there. Okay. We have some writing space here. We need some more stamps. We do. We can probably stamp like here and then we can still write on it. There's my little ladybugs. There's my little ladybugs. Just making sure they'll stamp. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put them here. Do that and then we've got these flowers we can stamp on here with a little flower right that wouldn't hurt and still leave plenty of room for journaling Ta -da! so precious Our little guys there 
All right, we have our cover here. We can put a stamp on here. What do we want to stamp? I thought I brought more stamps. Oh, I did. Here. These are fun. They're like little, little tiny stamps. We got this mushrooms. These are adorable. Let's do these. And yeah, I'm using my walnut um, stain distress ink. Because there are no rules, I can use that. I don't have to use something else. I have a little bit of the outline there. That's okay. I can go back in with some white. Let's put a little bit of this in there. All right. I can push that back again. See? Nobody will know it was there. Don't think it's intentional. They're like, wow, so much thought. They pushed that back. I wouldn't have thought of that. Ha ha ha. We wouldn't have either. Okay. So there's that. Wow. It's getting late. I'm getting a little punchy. Okay. So we'll let that dry and then I'll go back over maybe with another coat. And then you won't even know that I overstamped it. Or I could be careful and just not overstamp it, but that doesn't happen. So, all right. So that. This. Oh, we didn't do anything on this page. Maybe if I cut this down a little, I can fit it, you know? But I like the moths. Oh, I could put it here. But I love that too. Okay, let's do this. Let's put a little of our acrylic paint on here and just push it back. And we'll still be able to see through it some of that pretty and yet we'll still have some room to kind of write and play and I have some ink on my finger so that's working out for me because it's mixing with the paint <laughs> all right see messy hands has their advantages there perfect all right, you're drying. So this will be a little space to write also. Looks very blue. I think because it's also blending with the, the paper. <laughs> That's funny. Because I use an inkjet. That's all right. We'll warm it up with some ink when it's dry. There you go. All right, so we have that and we have that. And we have this little thing where you could write and tuck it in. And then it goes this way. Ta-da. And ta-da. How cool is that? It's a never-ending book. Can you imagine like with eight pages, this would be so cool. I can't wait to decorate this one. So I'm doing that 100 days project and I'm going to do a bunch of these in fabric and paper and everything. So that's my project. Hoping to do it more of a mixed media art vibe. If you're um, interested in that, look up the 100dayproject.org or the hashtag, the 100 Day Project. And it starts February 22nd. So um, it's coming right up this week if you're interested. But you do something for 100 days and it doesn't matter what you do. You could, you could draw in a journal for 100 days. You could journal literally write for 100 days you could i guess you could clean your craft room for 100 days but why would anybody want to do that but it doesn't matter what you do you should do something artistic and yeah it doesn't matter what you do so check it out if you're interested but yeah here we go this is our little concertina book and I hope you enjoyed this little three-part series. And I hope you'll make one of your own. And if you do, I hope you share it with me. I'm Hither and Yawn Studio on Instagram and Facebook. And you can look me up um, in the description box or all my links. So I hope you'll share with me and just use the hashtag Hither and Yawn Studio. And then I'll see it. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day or night. Bye. Paint to dance, paint to dance.